previously on Sailing Rum Punch. This is fun. Eddie got to work sanding and epoxying the floorboards. The epoxy is cured absolutely beautifully. It has got a lovely layer of oily blush on it. Ben moved on to chain plates. I've got three chain plates out out of seven so far. And they all seemed quite straightforward until the starboard midship one. It is proving extremely difficult. It is extremely corroded. However, he got there in the end. We're free. This took us to the beginning of January, where Ben finally finished his show, meaning... This is day one of me full time on the boat, all day, every day, boat, boat, boat. Yesterday I started doing my epoxy box so that we can start heating our epoxy before we use it so it's not too thick. Keep watching as we uncover some very exciting history. Once again, let's talk about floor supports. Now, I'm not happy with these ones on the sides. These are extremely flimsy. I don't know what I was thinking when I first put them in. Um, I've had to stand on them a couple of times and it's been extremely dangerous. To my defense, um, these were gonna be glassed in and they would be made super strong, but I just think there's a better way to do this. So I'm just gonna copy what's already happened on the aft section around the nav area and the galley where it's more of an edge that will just keep to the hull and then this will be more solid. So that's what I'm gonna do. I know these are straight and I know that when wood lies on these, this makes a flat surface similar to the one I'm sitting on. So all I need to do is get some cardboard and make a template and then I can take that to the workshop and cut those bits out. So I'm gonna use two bits of 18 mil, stick them together with some thickened epoxy and that gives a really nice strong support. Cut to the workshop, here I am. I've got my templates. Turns out I didn't really need to template them because they're just straight right angles and then a straight line. So what I've done, I've written the measurements for each one on these cardboard pieces. I've got a nice bit of 18 mil ply, so I'm just gonna get to work nice and quick. It's late, it's freezing cold, but we can't afford to put the heating on, so I'm just gonna get this done really quickly. GoPro on. Another day of sanding, epoxying the floor supports over the engine compartment. I've got three bits. I've also got the supports that I made in the unit last night, which I'm going to do at the same time. Going to maximize the space that we have on the boat while we can still get the warmth. So everything's really squashed in. So I'm going to quickly sand, epoxy these bits of flooring. It's got to be done. Might as well get on with it. We've got Ellie with me today. Right? Yay! Um, it's got a big whiff of those eggs. Yeah, I just got tea. <laughs> this is my this is my breakfast. It doesn't look very good, but it's avocado, eggs, and rice cakes. Anyway, carry on. Okay, so Els, now we're out here working in the weather, and I think it's like minus one at the moment. How does this make you feel about winter sailing? I've got goosebumps. I'm actually really excited. I I mean at the moment, it's bright blue sky and sunny and glorious and it's really crisp. And actually the sun is quite warming, um, but you can feel the chill. But I'm I'm really excited about winter sailing. I actually, my favorite time of year is kind of autumn, winter and autumn. Um, I much prefer bundling up. So I'm very excited to kind of go winter sailing and then be able to come cozy up in the boat and yay. <laughs> so on the list today, is we have to sand the top sides of the floor that I did yesterday, and then we'll epoxy that later. And we also want to make a start on the engine hole, that horrible, gross, disgusting hole where the engine is gonna be. Uh, we need to take the old mounts off, sand it back, strip all the cables out, and just make that a little bit more ready to be transformed into this beautiful new engine bed. <laughs> it's very icy. It's better. It's time to ice skate on the boat, everyone.
Oh, Ellie's making such a racket upstairs. I'm gonna start getting these mounts off. They're completely corroded, they're not used to anyone. This one, in fact, just comes off anyway. So that's, that's good to go. I'm gonna try and release these ones. I just took these back these coach bolts out. Oh right, I see. They were holding the thing down, so, but I assumed that that was connected to that, and then those were connected to that. I don't is know. that wood? That's wood. The whole thing is wood, or is or is there wood on top of it? I don't know. Okay. I think the wood goes down quite a long way. Oh dear, it snapped off. Can you believe that's what we used our engine? That's what got us back from Portland. Insane. You have me to lift this up? So we might have uncovered the names of the guys that built our boat. We're just taking the sound, old soundproofing out of the engine compartment and we've just uncovered these names. And I think they're either place names or they're people names. And I think they're people names. So we're gonna do some research. I'm gonna go onto the contest owners group later on and put some feelers out and see if we can, um, see if anyone knows any of these guys, cause this is really exciting. So we did reach out and it turns out these guys did build our boat in 1972. One guy even knew all of these boat builders and brought a smile to his face. Really bloody cool. I spent the last couple of days down at the workshop. Um, I have epoxy sealed the rest of the floorboards that are going to go down here. So they are just curing now. So tomorrow I can get those and bring them and we'll have a completely epoxied floor or floor base I should say. We are going to put a thin layer of insulation over the top of here and then we're going to put whatever we are going to top it with before we do put the final top on we are going to put at least the skeletal structure of the sofa on the starboard side and the part galley part sofa part reading nook corner this is going to be and um, we're going to get these structures in first so that the flooring we put down is just going to butt up to there so all that will be under here is just the um thin ply that I've got down already. So while that's at the workshop curing, I'm gonna to get to work on these new supports that I've made. These are so much better, so much more solid. Really happy with these. I've already put the floor down for a little test and it works wonders. What I'm gonna do now is glass them in. So I have left it quite late, but I think I'm just gonna keep going. Um, it is dark outside and extremely windy today. There is the back-to-back -back storms rolling through the UK at the moment, so, um, it is quite unnerving when the boat keeps shaking, but here we are, that's what we signed up for. So I'm just going to now, I'm going to take these out, these are screwed in, but I'm going to take them out, sand and prep the area, and then glass them in on both sides. Let's get to it. They set, so what I'm going to do now is move over to the starboard side, do exactly the same, that's all clean, just need a bit of acetone on there, put the supports in and then I'm going to put thickened epoxy on there, 
and I'm going to glass up these ones at the same time and then after a couple of hours come and glass the other side. Fun! Okay, the fiberglass I laid last night has set really nicely. A couple of air bubbles on top, but not worried about those. I'm gonna sand these down anyway, but these are solid as a rock. So really happy with these. My fiberglass skills are really coming along, which is really handy. Things like this don't really matter if it's not a great job because it's just under the floorboard. It's just literally just to hold it up and give support to whatever we're gonna build on top here as well but I try and do my best anyway. It's really good practice for when we come to do more structural things and things that are a little bit more important and that are gonna be seen. Um, I think it's really good just to get this practice in. So really happy with these. Next up, I'm going to sand these down. I didn't put peel ply on them. A bit of an afterthought last night and I really should have cut out some peel ply and stuck it over the top so I could just rip this off and paint over it. Didn't do that, so I'm gonna sand these down, give this whole area a nice clean and then give it a fresh coat of primer ready for paint um, I'm gonna do that on both sides and then I'm going to take the floorboards that sit on here we're gonna take those to the workshop and cut some hatches da, 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 da. so I've moved operations from the boat to the workshop uh, so I brought the flooring to the unit so that I can cut some hatches. I've got the measurements on my phone, so I'm gonna start cutting. My tash. So everyone's aware I am embarrassed about the state of this workshop. It is horrendous in here. Apologies for that. So what I've done, I've, put, I've measured up 70 mil from the straight edge, and then I've got the right angled lines going all the way through, so all I need to do is measure up from these two corners, up and across, up and across, up and across. They're all 30 mil wide, that's gonna be a standard, and then their depths will vary. I think these two will probably be 20 mil. This one's only gonna be a little one. I just need to be able to get my hand in with a drill or something, just to in here, access, Right, got the saw out. I'm gonna make my first cuts now. Cross your fingers, because I've only got one shot at this, so I better get it right. The wood that I cut out, I'd love to keep as the hatches, but that's not the end of the world if not. I can use some other 12 mil if we need to, but for now I really want to try and save them. So my cuts are gonna be extremely careful. Then I got some battens that I'm going to run on the inside so they can easily drop in and out. I'm thinking about hinging them, but we'll see how we get on. It might be easy just to be able to lift them out. Thanks again for watching another episode and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join us for the next episode where we actually start building.